And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man Jimmy. I'm here with your boy Jay. And I'm here with your man Ant. And we have a very, very special guest, our homie from South Carolina, View Beats. What up? Yeah. Welcome to the show, man. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? To be here for sure. For sure. No no doubt. Switch recently in the uh, CHH chat. So. It's a really cool. I've been watching y'all's podcast the past few days, and I oh, appreciate that everything and I like what's going on. Thank Dope, you, man. You. We appreciate yeah, you for up. coming out, man. Um, so yeah, man, what's been going on, fellas? How was y'all weekends? Any anything interesting happened? Shh, weekend. Anything y'all want to talk about? Yo, I want to talk about that setup my guy has. Look at that. I wish our podcast looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> for you guys that don't you know out there. Racks. View racks is a, racks. View is an engineer, right? Right. Are you a producer as well? You make beats too, right? I started producing in like 2003. I've, I've been in music my whole life. And uh, I started producing like 2003. Then I started engineering in about 2004, 2005. Just working okay. with local rappers in my hometown and everything. And, uh, you know, progress from there. So producer, yeah. engineer, I, I spend more time mixing than I do producing Um Due to time, you know. So nice, cool. That's good. We'll talk. We'll we'll get into that a little later in the show. But switch. <laughs> you mentioned the weekend, and I just remember. I'm like, I'm ready for lockdown part two. Well, you are. You ready to get <laughs> vaccinated, right? Wait, you nah, in the lockdown? Whoa, 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 Right, yeah, right. What's I'm wrong with that? Telling, I'm just telling hey. you, you're already hey. locked down. So what hey. other lockdown you waiting for? Hey, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Did, did you guys have a tornado or something? A hurricane or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did have a warning, right? Well, one of y'all well, that was that was for the Bronx. No, nobody really cares about the Bronx. The wow. Bronx only the Bronx had a tornado warning? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, I didn't get anything. When when Switch mentioned it in our chat, I was like, that's weird. I checked my phone. Nothing. I saw it on the news this morning. You wasn't upstate, really? Switch. Yeah, I was upstate. My homie got it though. He sent me, he sent me the um the notification it was like oh take oh, cover this dude is you're fake in the area shots. he's like yeah. take cover you're in a fake area i mean oh, fake area you're in a, uh, a fake area a dangerous <laughs> area this guy he, he's talking about his fake warnings <laughs> so yeah they were like um you know it's a fi- it's a a, a a warning in that area so he was it was like take cover make sure you know you're not outside and da, da, da. it came right on his phone a notification we get what that out. They're gonna do to the Bronx, yo. All them buildings. Get rid of it. <laughs> wow. Yo, the Bronx was still like we outside, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the Bronx was like you're. It was <laughs> yeah. Ain't doing nothing. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty scary. I don't think I've, I've ever had a you know. Well, I don't think New York has ever had like a tornado scare like that before. I don't yeah, know about well, you guys down south. I mean, that probably had. A, oh, really? Why? Why you was here? Nah, but it was, I want to say maybe like 10 years ago where it went down like in Brooklyn, um, not, I don't, oh man, like Bay Ridge area where it kind of like, it buckled yeah, the yeah. sidewalks, knocked some trees down. What? what? Wow, I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. I remember that. We don't wow, those yeah. I mean, it didn't about, really do much to the houses though, but it did, mm. it did some damage. How about in South Carolina? You guys get uh, tornadoes or anything like that? Our weather down here is just crazy. Bipolar. <laughs> So oh, we get really? hot and then when it gets cold and hot, we get a bunch of storms. Um, we had actually this, I've been in this house for a year and um, I think it was last, let's see, what is it, this summer? I guess around this past spring, we had like five, 10 tornadoes, 10 wow. miles down the road from my house. Like Whoa. just wow. highway and we're just, I'm just sitting on my front porch just watching the clouds go crazy. So we get crazy weather down here for sure. That's crazy, Probably man. Jeez. See, I'm not about that life, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got now. Are you by Myrtle over there? Uh, uh, three hours from there. Oh, okay, okay. Do you go? Do you ever go out there? Yeah, I, 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 go, I go to Myrtle. My wife likes to go to Myrtle Beach. You know, there's some there's some nice parts down there, but uh, I like blue water. 
you know, if oh, I could blue water? or a beach, I like to go to some blue water, you know. Oh, okay. I never heard of that one, but the famous one is Brackens. You know what's in the water? What? You know, like like Key West top water, like the the blue oh, water. Okay. Down the island. Until like like oh, Puerto Rico, okay, okay. like on the Gulf. Puerto Rico water. So that Caribbean water. I don't like getting in the ocean when I can't see. <laughs> More like the murky waters. Yeah. Don't, it's don't like New York water swimming. every day. Yeah, don't ever go swimming in LA. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Jeez. All right, so that's what's up. What grimy. else? What else? What else? What's it? What else has been going on, fellas? Not much, oh. man. You know, Yo, my my, my guy. Hold on, I'm taking off my my headphones. But my guy. Oh, dropped oh, another oh, album. On, you see this dude? Wow. You see this dude? He got to do all that. He really got to do all that. He man. can't wait to rep for Lecrae. This is I swear by. this dude is getting a bag, man. This ad yeah. is sponsored. Right, of your riff, right. This ad is sponsored by One One Six. No, chill. No free brand deals. <laughs> We're just gonna show the brand. No, so, um. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Lecrae re-released Restoration. Well, I don't want to say re-released. It was like a deluxe version, yeah, um, of it. And he got you know like four or five new songs. Well, one song was already on a play on the summer playlist, and then the other ones I guess are new or whatever. Yeah, but I find so, it interesting. Why four why songs? He, yeah, like four or five songs. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, com- you know, compared to the I guess the regular album. Right. Uh, but what you think? I mean, there was reports saying that you know it didn't really do that well. So I mean, first is this album? something that? It, yeah, the rec- the first uh, version of Restoration said it didn't. Yeah, do I was it hearing well. that as well. Yeah, but it was. Uh, but what you th- Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Huh? Who said that crew? I mean, probably, probably <laughs> one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, like six, six you songs. Know what was six dope? Songs. They what? did. They had Rhapsody on it. Oh, I seen that. He did yeah. the Deep End remix. She's, she's on, on it. Deep End. Is, is yeah. on it. Yeah, she bodied that verse. Yeah, she nice. Yeah. That song she did with Buster's crazy. Yeah, yeah, she's nice. Um, I didn't hear it, but, so I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, so I don't know. I kind of found it interesting that he would. I don't know, re- know if. You know, and uh, I guess maybe if you and Switch, you you guys talk, you know, know about it more. But uh, for rappers or artists to release, I guess, another, you know, album technically out into the to the world like that after the first one. I mean, first one was like maybe a month or two ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty interesting. I don't, I don't think I would really see that a whole lot. If, if anybody in the secular world, it'd be like Rocco. If y'all know who he is, he's always doing some like. You know, well, not really real releases, but you got the like, uh, his was like word play one, word play two, you know, stuff like that, or yeah. I guess mixtape, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I've been seeing it. that a lot lately, though. Like, artists will do their album and then they'll re release it as a deluxe. Mm. Oh, and yeah. The- put, and then they'll put the features that they're, I guess, that people wanted or maybe they feel like will cause more attention. Um, because he just added about six more songs. Right, and they right, were totally yeah. new songs, um, right. and then he had what? Because in the last one, he didn't have Andy, right? He didn't have really. No, he didn't have that. Was, that was just on a playlist uh, mm-hmm. song. He didn't have any one one six artists, right? I don't believe. Let me check. I don't think he had any one one six artists uh, on the original um, one. Yeah, the original. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, no! There was nobody. Uh, yeah, there was, was no one 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 six, and then this one, he added all. all you know, he threw his one one six buddies in there. One day, Hovey. Yeah, Andy. All right. He got what, what up, RG? Yeah, what up? He got Ty, Ty Brazel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's not one one six. I think. Um, okay. He's not. I he's thought an he affiliate. is. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. Or no, Ty yeah. isn't. What yeah, up, RG? Is Ty. though. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Ty. Yeah, but yo, it was dope. I like these. I like these additions. I like. Yeah. Um. Do you hear I that like, beat on Ten Toes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I want to know who produced that. That kid Hovi is nice, man. Oh yeah, he's cool. He's he nice. got he he got some hooks, man. Yeah. He, that that, that sure. boy is nice, man. Yeah. So yeah, man, we appreciate that album. That album's dope, man. For um, sure, for sure. You know, uh especially now, like the craze been getting some backlash from uh Uh-oh. some some Trump uh-huh. supporters. Oh, <laughs> is it Trump supporters or just like one main dude, yo? 
Oh, I think it's one just one. I think, I think it's one main dude, but there's a lot of other people that feel that, like that one main dude if you see the comments and stuff. Well, that's because they follow that dude. Yeah. Well, that so dude. so y'all that don't know, um, Marcus Rogers have recently... Uh, well, he, this isn't the first time as, as well. He's done this a few times where he's mentioned Lecrae. Uh, he's, I guess he feels like Lecrae isn't taking his stance when it comes to abortion. And maybe Why he's he singling too- Lecrae out, yo? Probably because he's such a public figure, especially claiming to be, you know, Christian. You know, he's, he's probably like, for me, I've only been into Christian hip hop for like, uh, you know, really the past two years. Mm. And really, actually, I've, I've started working with a Christian hip hop artist two years ago and then um, really started diving into Christian hip hop about a year ago, year and a half ago. Okay. Um, so before I've been a Christian since I was like a, a true Christian, believe in God, understood God since I was like 19, I'm 34. Um, but I was in the secular realm. And so, but in the past few years, you know, people are like, oh, you should, you should um, record Christian hip hop. There's not a whole lot of Christian hip hop artists that I'd found. And every time someone would want to, would want to mention Christian hip hop is always Lecrae. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, oh, you, you heard of Lecrae? You're Christian, you heard of Lecrae? It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to him and everything, you know what I'm saying? And, and heard him, uh, listened to him for a little bit at first when I started getting into the Christian hip hop. Right. We can get into that a little bit later too. Yeah. yeah so he's like, sure. he's like the face of a uh, CHH pretty much. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why he's coming for, I mean, for force. Like, yeah. I mean, like we, we mentioned before with the crew, you know, we say that he's the most, I guess, successful, notable, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Notable, successful when it can't, when it comes to, you know, CHH. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, True. he's, well, I mean, he's the one, He's the poster like, boy. Most, yeah, most likely, like when you talk about CHH, he's the one that you, you know most likely you've heard of him because he's got songs with so many people, right mm-hmm. in the secular side, um, where there aren't too many Christian hip hop artists who are doing that, you know. But I'm gonna say Marcus is specifically targeting him, right, with a lot of the stuff. But Marcus, being a Christian, he should know more Christian artists, or he would know. Why is he attacking Lacredo? Like, right for the you know what I'm saying for the clout. Oh, well, that's what Maybe. he said. He said he said he wasn't doing it for clicks or for I mean, that's um, what he said. views and stuff like that. Um, could I it saw, also be? Yeah, could it also be? You know, Cray has been vocal with his political stuff, and then you know he's meeting with like congressmen and presidents and all that stuff versus. Other but CHH artists? KB's been vocal about political stuff. Right. Nobody adding KB, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they have. Good point. Good well, I'm saying Marcus ain't. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like, Maybe he don't know There is other artists, huh? Maybe he don't know them like that. If he know the Cray, I'm sure he knows KB. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to ask him. Like, yo. <laughs> send <laughs> send to Adam. KB. Don't mean he's Adam. He might not be on the Lecrae, uh, uh, you know, Spotify radio, so he right. might. <laughs> <laughs> it never, right. it don't come up on though. <laughs> you see, you see the 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 way my SEO is hooked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> KB just don't hit like that. Uh, yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> wow, yeah. man. What, Marcus, what was, yeah, he been really going in on them, man. Yeah, what was weird to me was when he mentioned John Legend. He had a, oh, he had yeah. one video. And he was like, oh, uh, you know, John, uh, if if like basically saying, like, if you was really uh, about that life, why you ain't tell John Legend something and why he's not mad at you? You know, what I mean, and I'm like, what does John Legend have anything to do with this? Was and, he I know he, about, was and I know he he's saying the whole that pizza thing. Yeah, I think he's trying to bring up the whole Pizzagate thing. You think he's bringing up the whole Pizzagate thing or you think he's bringing up the fact that John is real supportive of, of Biden, Democrats and Biden? Yeah. Yeah, because he was saying like, oh, you know, you know, your, your boy will be upset at you. Like he was quoting the scripture of the world is not going to accept you because you have Christ. Um, okay. So he was quoting that with that. But it was just really weird. Like, you 
like to me it was like do you even know what that relationship is like you know what i'm saying like all we ever heard really was a song from john legend and lecrae is there a real relationship there are they i like that song buddies too, are they that friends that song is dope so it was just really weird i think it was i think it was a little judgmental of him to uh overstep that boundary um Especially even with even with the whole Pizzagate stuff, whether it's true or not. Wait, but we assuming it's Pizzagate. It might not yeah, be. It might not be. It yeah. might not I, be. I asked. I uh... yeah, because like I'm saying, I because the the context, the way he was talking about it was like, because he was really focused on like, oh, how you support a candidate about abortions and you know what I'm saying Democrat. Yeah. So it could like I'm saying I'm thinking maybe it was more so because John Legend's been vocal. Him and his wife. Been yeah, him vocal. and his wife. Yeah about you know bashing trump you know what i mean so he probably was more you know talking about that because i mean when, that, if he, he starts talking pizza gay he's gonna sound crazy <laughs> I, I think too he's just kind of saying like you know like the the conforming to the world like um i, I see it me personally like um listening to lecrae um you know i was only like me personally i listened to him a couple songs when I was getting into the Christian hip hop. And then I had a spirit of discernment that kind of made me feel like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, it wasn't doing nothing for my spirit. Wasn't doing anything to uplift me in Christ or anything like that to where, um, I kind of just stopped listening to him. You know, I mean, I, just, I didn't pursue listening was, to look. Was, it, right. was this his newer stuff or his older stuff? Or? You know, year, two years ago. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really listened to him since, but I think that Marcus Rogers, what I what I've seen from him, I see how he's passionate, and I've watched some other preachers, like street preachers, like him. You know, what I'm saying that really preach um, repentance. You know, and and I think that's one thing that he's kind of getting at. And I'm, I'm, I guess he's not seeing Lecrae teach repentance or or you know preach repentance. I don't know. I don't know enough about Lecrae, and I don't follow him enough you know, for me to take sides or anything like that. Right. Yeah. To really speak on that. But from what I've seen from the Marcus Rogers and him talking about like with John Legend, um, you know, you're not going to say anything to offend your friends, John Legend. I see where he's coming at with Hollywood because Hollywood is on that side. You know what I'm saying? Most of Hollywood is, it's, it's, it's on that side. Um, and to me, it's not, uh, not on the side of the kingdom of God really. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this thing is, is like, where do we draw that balance, right? Where we're um, still, um, you know, being a light to the world inside that darkness, right? And also, where do we draw the line where we say, like, where we, where we, I mean, at the end of the day, we always have to preach repentance, right? Um, and that's vocally and also by our lifestyle, right? We have to show right. some kind of some some kind of fruit. I just wonder, like, I just felt like it was a little uh, judgmental because it was like, you, we don't know what that relationship is like. You know what I'm saying? Where did you get this information from? Or, you know, did you just see the song with him and John Legend? And then you just said, well, he's cool with all John Legend and that's his boy. And we don't know, you know, that could have been a business transaction. That could have just been like, yo, I, re I really need a dope singer. I want John Legend on it. You know what I mean? Probably I wasn't even in the same room. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or it's, That's yo, true. I really appreciate John Legend. I always wanted John Legend and I got him on. And we don't know what he's doing in the background. Like, you know, we hear a lot of things. I mean, I'm always hearing about individuals preaching to secular artists. You know what I'm saying? That we don't hear in the public, but, and we don't see in the public, but it's happening. You know what I mean? There's people that still are, uh, ministering to these people so you know i just felt that was a little forward to him you know what i'm saying like and and let's let's also not expect that even if we preach to them that they're going to automatically repent you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. right. that's another thing we we kind of think like well if you're around all these secular artists somebody got to repent well that's not always true you know what i'm saying not everyone is going to have an ear and and turn around you know what i mean but it might be the the manager that's managing the artist. It might be the producer. It might be the engineer, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, like yourself, um, view. You know what I mean? Where, you know, you hear the gospel and and it, and it affects your heart and you make a turn. So it's not always the stars that are 
uh, directly getting impacted. Sometimes it's the people around them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we just got to be careful how we, um, how we, I guess, how we uh, view things, <laughs> how we see things, because we don't know. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. We don't know what kind of relationship Lecrae has. Um, I think someone, I, I, I forgot. I don't know if y'all, if y'all remember this. I think there was a secular artist. And he and he gave a vouch for Lecrae. He said, yo, Lecrae came out and Lecrae, you know, he was he said that basically he was like kind of trying to test Lecrae with something like that. There was a story that was floating around. I don't know if y'all remember that he was testing Lecrae and he he said, yo, this dude is solid. Like this dude is really about what he pre right. you know, what he talks about. Yeah. Um, was it T.I.? I don't nah. remember, man. I don't remember, but I remember that um. story. But the thing with, with Marcus, um, like the whole thing with him talking about Lecrae and 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 John Legend and all that, he I think he'd be reaching sometimes because he expect him, like you said, he expects him to conform John Legend or, or holler at him, like you say, he don't even know the relationship. But who's to say, you know what I'm saying, God, you know, because God uses folks, right? He, uses people that aren't um i'm saved so how do we know that wasn't you know ordained as far as him getting john legend on that song because someone needed to hear that song right yeah you know what i mean like out to get that song out there because the song um drowned right i mean that, yeah. that song is dope and you know who john legend's voice on that track with what Lecrae speaking, I mean, them two together, who, you know, who's to say that song ain't touch folks? <laughs> right, right. Well, not not only that, like introduce people to to Lecrae's catalog, you know what I mean, and other artists, right? That are John think, Legend fans. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, or yeah. even just not John Legend's fans, but they just heard of John Legend and like, who's this cat? You know, throw him into Spotify. The next thing, you, you know, you, you're hearing everybody else who's attached to or who's associated with Lecrae, you know what I mean? Like Right, because think about else. it like this, and even if like Marcus Rogers or whatever, like you, you, he's worried about Lecrae not changing this one man, but doesn't realize how many people could have changed off of that one song. Right, mm -hmm. right. right. You, you know, know what I'm when, I, when, I, when I saw that, I thought about that scripture um, when Christ was talking to the Pharisees, and I'm not calling Marcus Rogers a Pharisee at all, but um, I was thinking of that scripture where it said, "So he's a Sadducee." Okay, I just—I just saying. thought about that scripture where Jesus said, um, "The tax collectors and the prostitutes will make it into the kingdom before, before Yahweh," right, right. and that hit me so hard because it's like, you know, even if we look at John Legend, right, and what he stands for as the worst of the worst, right, because the tax collectors back then. Those were the shadiest. A prostitute, yeah. it don't get no shadier than that. You Man, know what I mean? IRS is still shady. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. true. Taxation <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but even with that, it's like, yo, even the 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 work, the, the way we view individuals, and Jesus is saying that they will enter the kingdom before, right? And obviously, because they will have a repentant heart and they will listen to the gospel and they'll believe on it, right? And and, and I just that's how I feel like, yo, like we are light to this world and we don't know, man. We don't know what's going to what's going to go down. We don't know right. you know, who we around and we might just touch somebody. How many times we got friends that they in the world and they call y'all for prayer? That's facts, <laughs> man. That's facts. Mm. That's facts, bro. Oh, they want you to vent to you. Yo, uh, uh, Jimmy, man, yo, I've been going through this. I've been going through that. I need advice. How many times you got friends like that? That they come directly to you? They don't go to no one else. They don't go to their parents, their brother, no one else. But they know you are the individual that's going to pray for them, that's going to give them wise counsel. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we need people like that in the industry as well. You know what I'm saying? Especially now with all these rappers killing each other because they're rapping about their dead homies. 